To open this evening's program and the 2015 awards celebration of the Institute of Food Technologists, please welcome the president of IFT, Mary Ellen Kamiri. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Chicago, and welcome to our annual awards celebration. Chicago is home to IFT headquarters, and it's also known as the city of big shoulders. It's one of the most vibrant and exciting places to work, live, and visit, especially this week. Thousands of food professionals from around the world have gathered for IFT 15, and we're happy to have you here. This is the 75th anniversary of IFT's annual event. The first one took place the year after IFT was founded in 1939. Tonight we have the opportunity to honor the anniversary and celebrate the contributions of our members. It's a night to share our collective achievements and highlight the important role that food science and food technology play in the global food system. Many of you are here in Chicago for IFT's scientific program. It's an incredible learning opportunity over the next few days, and you'll see the diversity of food science and technology reflected in the education we offer. We have more than 100 sessions and more than 1,000 technical research presentations. IFT 15 has education for food professionals at every level in a wide variety of interests. This event is for those seeking knowledge to help you develop in your profession and contribute more to your organizations. Our scientific program is one of the most important ways that we share members' scientific knowledge. It offers expert presentations focused on the issues facing today's food science and technologists, as well as insights into the latest trends in scientific developments and their applications. Science is critical, but so is the application of that science. And that's, of course, why we have the IFT Food Expo. We have the latest trends, products, services for you to taste, see, and experience. You'll find a huge selection of global suppliers, more than 1,000 exhibitors, and 2,500 booths. It takes so many people to make an event like this a success, but year after year, we make it happen. It would not be possible without the, our dedicated volunteers. I'd like to take a moment now to thank all of our hardworking volunteers. You collaborated for months to make IU15 the best event of the year, and once again, you have done a tremendous job. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. And now, I'd like to acknowledge IFT's immediate past president and my dear friend, Janet Collins. Janet is the first registered dietitian to serve as IFT president. She has more than 35 years of professional experience in academic and industry settings. During her tenure as IFT's president, she oversaw more than 1,400 volunteers who dedicated countless hours to IFT activities. She's been a tireless ambassador and champion of IFT, traveling around the world advocating for our members. During her time as president and on the board, she has dedicated her energy to helping the world understand the value of food science and technology. Please join me in recognizing Janet's truly outstanding leadership of IFT. I'm also pleased to acknowledge in our audience the president of the IFT Student Association, Jay Gilbert. Over the last year, under Jay's leadership, IFTSA has added three new chapters at the University of Central Oklahoma, McGill University in Montreal, and the University of Connecticut. With the help of IFTSA's hardworking volunteers, Jay launched a student product development competition with our Chinese counterparts, and that will be held at the CIFST Summit in the fall. He has also helped increase readership to IFTSA's blog, Science Meets Food. Jay, on behalf of IFTSA and IFT, thank you very much for your leadership, enthusiasm, and commitment over the past year. We sincerely appreciate all that you do. And now, will all of our past presidents of IFT in the audience please stand to be recognized? Thank you for all of your years of service and leadership. We have a few tucked away backstage, too. Now let's take a moment to acknowledge our board of directors for all the time they've invested in IFT and for what we've accomplished. 
Would you all please stand? Thank you for your hard work and dedication. Of course, the reason that we're here tonight is our annual award ceremony. We are honoring IFT members who over the past year have made the greatest contributions to IFT in the field of food science and technology. We recognize commitment to service, outstanding scientific advancements, and excellence in teaching and research. Juries comprised of IFT volunteers selected the award recipients. We wouldn't be here tonight without the hard work and dedication of all those who served on the juries. So I'd like to take a moment, invite those of you who served on a jury to stand and be recognized. Thank you for your service. IFT's divisions are important centers of scientific and business knowledge. Divisions have provided me with wonderful opportunities to develop my leadership and technical skills. I helped start the food chemistry division, and it gives me great pleasure to see how that group evolves as food chemistry issues shift. Divisions foster a welcoming and inclusive community and nurture the next generation of leaders. We have 24 divisions of members interested in specific area of food science and technology who are active in the online community, IFT Connect. We also have a brand new protein division. Would our division leaders please stand up? Got a few here, I know. <laughs> Thank you. IFT also has more than 50 sections. Several sections are located outside the United States. In the past year, our section sponsored more than 200 awards and scholarships that invested almost 400,000 to recognize achievements and support future generations of food scientists. In the last year, sections have had over 250 events, from suppliers nights, technical sessions, philanthropic activities, to gatherings designed for new professionals and students. Would all of our section leaders here please stand? Our newest addition to the IFT family is the San Joaquin section. It was a subsection of the Northern California section until members decided to form a section specifically for their own area. They have worked diligently to establish a new section and communicate their vision with us every step of the way. Congratulations to our new San Joaquin section. We'd also like to take a moment to acknowledge all of our work groups and task forces. We appreciate your long hours and dedication. You have overseen programs, initiatives, and activities. You've participated in dozens of events that have helped your colleagues learn and advance the science of food and technology. Insights offered by these volunteers are invaluable and benefit all of us. If you were on a work group or task force in the last year, could you please stand up and be recognized? Thank you very much. And lastly, I'd like to thank my family, my partner, my mother, my children who are here for their support in the past year because sometimes I'm not home. <laughs> so somebody needs to take care of the cat box and, and uh, water the plant. So I appreciate all of their support as well. And, <laughs> and I want to thank you on this rainy night for taking the time to come here and being part of the IFT community. Many of you joined us earlier this evening to honor our 2015 IFT Fellows. It's been a great night to recognize some amazing food scientists and their tremendous contributions to our profession. Would all of our fellows please come to the stage? And please hold your applause till we come to the end. Thank you. Cheryl Barringer, Janet Collins, H. Russell Cross, Iro Roos, Michael Eskin, who unfortunately could not be here with us tonight, Harjinger Singh, Olga Martin Veloso, Hyun Jin Park, Julian McClemens, Christopher Daubert, Gao Chin Yen, and Gregory Ziegler. Let's take a moment to recognize them again for their individual achievement and dedication to excellence. Congratulations to our fellows, and now it's time for our Achievement Awards. 
My colleagues Janet Collins, Colin Dennis, and John Couplin will join me to help announce and recognize our recipients. Without any further ado, please join us in recognizing our 2015 Achievement Award winners. The first award this evening is IFT's highest honor, the Nicholas Sapero Award. The 2015 recipient of this prestigious award is Stephen L. Taylor of the University of Nebraska. Steve received the 2015 Nicholas Sapero Award for his comprehensive investigative work on food allergens, which includes their detection, the determination of threshold doses, the implementation of risk assessment approaches and effects on food processing and allergens and their detection. The 2015 recipient of the Research and Development Award is Ahmed Youssef. Ahmed is a professor of food science and technology at The Ohio State University. He received this award for the, his research that enhances food safety and human health. It focuses on the development methods to contaminate shell eggs, to possibly eliminate the transmission of salmonellosis, and the discovery of novel antimicrobial agents as potential food preservatives. The 2015 recipient of the William V. Cruz Award for Excellence in Teaching is Gabrielle Keith Harris. Keith received this award for his demonstration of knowledge, creativity, and enthusiasm in the field of food science and technology at North Carolina State University. He wishes to thank his family, friends, students, and colleagues for their advice, generosity, and inspiration. He especially wishes to thank his wife, Claudia, and his children, Jimmy, Carolina and Santiago for the love and support they provide every day. The 2015 recipient of the Carl R. Fellers Award is David Patrick Green. David is a professor and department extension leader in the Department of Food, Bioprocessing, and Nutrition Sciences at North Carolina State University. He received this award for his longstanding dedication to enhancing the profession of food science. David served as director of the Center for Marine Sciences and Technology and chair of IFT's Aquatic Food Products Division. He's known worldwide for his innovative research and outreach programs and for bringing recognition to the, to the field of food science. The 2015 recipient of the Food Technology Industrial Achievement Award is Aseptia Incorporated in North Carolina State University Department of Food, Bioprocessing and Nutrition Sciences. Accepting on behalf of Aseptia is Michael Druga, Chief Technology Officer, and accepting on behalf of North Carolina State is Dr. Josip Simovovich. Aseptia North Carolina State received the award for the development and commercialization of a new generation of shelf-stable products using microwave-assisted aseptic packaging and processing. The partnered business and academic team achieved a revolutionary aseptic preservation system with nutrient, flavor, and quality retention for shelf-stable products. They introduced items that included soups, purees, and smoothies to the U.S. market with significant success. Thank you. The recipient of the 2015 Industrial Scientist Award is Pablo Coronel of Aseptia Incorporated. Pablo received the award for his pioneering work in the understanding and development of processes for pasteurization and sterilization of foods using continuous flow microwave heating. His research has allowed the development of advanced preservation processes including aseptic packaging with regulatory acceptance and commercial introduction. This groundbreaking technology has resulted in shelf-stable foods with superior nutrient and flavor retention developed by Aseptia. Pablo is considered to be the leading world expert in this unique field. <laughs> the 
Next is the W.K. Kellogg International Food Security Award and Lectureship. The recipient of this year's award is Octavio Paradas Lopez of the National Polytechnic Institute in Sinsvastaff. Octavio received this award for his research in improving access to and safety of nutritious, nutritious food, no, notably prickly pear, common beans, amaranth, and maize flour in the poorest areas of Mexico. He was also recognized for its leadership in training students and scientists in, Mer in Mexico, Latin America, and the Caribbean. The 2015 recipient of the Bor S. Liu International Award is Joe M. Regenstein. Joe received the award for his outstanding contribution to the Cornell Kosher and Halal Food Initiative, a unique program that provides significant help to the food industry in providing kosher and halal foods to consumers worldwide. In addition, Regenstein offers expertise in the areas of animal welfare, fish and poultry byproducts by processing optimization, which have had major impacts in the food industry. The 2015 recipient of the Samuel Kate Prescott Award for research is Julie Goddard. Julie is Assistant Professor of Food Science at the University of Massachusetts, Amherst. She received this award for developing an outstanding research program focused on modifying the surface chemistry of food contact materials to improve the quality, safety and sustainability of food supply. The 2015 recipient of the Calvert L. Willey Distinguished Service Award is Bruce Faree. Bruce received this award for his outstanding, enthusiastic and unique volunteer leadership in IFT over 34 years. Bruce is a noted educator, motivator and author on quality and food safety. His exceptional support for the IF IFTSA fun run and walk as the top fundraiser for nine straight years is additional to his substantial contributions to IFT, including chairing 18 committees, task forces, or award juries, as well as two IFT sections. The 2015 recipient of the Babcock Hart Award from the International Life Sciences Institute of North America is Julian McClements of the University of Massachusetts Amherst. Julian received his PhD in food science in 1989 at the University of Leeds in the United Kingdom. He did his postdoctoral research at the University of Leeds, University of California Davis, and University College in Cork. Julian has pioneered our understanding of colloidal structures, particularly emulsions in food. He's drawn theories from the most fundamental physics to understand the ways that food ingredients interact to make products. Highlights of his program include work on the microstructural basis of color, chemical and physical stability, and digestibility of emulsions. By fully understanding how the emulsion works, Julian has been able to intelligently design food structures to achieve desired functional properties without resorting to trial and error. He is an astonishingly prolific and highly cited author of both research articles and books, and a well-respected teacher and mentor of students and postdocs. The recipient of the 2015 Sensory and Consumer Sciences Achievement Award is Hildegard Heyman. She is receiving this award for her significant impact and contributions to the field of sensory science. She has advanced the methodology of sensometrics and the application of multivariate statistical analyses in sensory science. Additionally, she has done sensory chemical characterization of wines and foods, which led to greater understanding of flavor chemistry. She has also demonstrated great dedication to teaching and to student development.
The recipient of the Myron Solberg Award is Mickey Parrish. Mickey is receiving this award for his outstanding development and leadership of cooperative activities among industry, academic, and government organizations. His numerous collaborations include relationships between the US Department of Agriculture, the Food and Drug Administration, and the International Life Sciences Institute, and with universities. The recipient of the 2015 Elizabeth Fleming Steer Award is Kenneth Marsh. Kenneth is recognized for his efforts in reducing world hunger through the application of food technology principles, including preservation, packaging, and transportation. He, with other technologists and delegates of World Food Congresses, pioneered reducing food losses when most other efforts focused on agricultural production. His commitment represents the best of what food scientists can contribute to humanitarian efforts and exemplifies the dream of Dr. Steer. Mary Ellen, I'm going to hand it back to you. Thanks, John. There are two other award winners who are past presidents of IFT that we'd like to recognize tonight. These awards are jointly sponsored with our friends at the American Society for Nutrition in the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. The recipient of the 2015 Gilbert A. Lavelle Award in Lectureship is Theodore P. Labuza. This award was presented at the 2015 ASN Scientific Sessions and Annual Meeting. Ted gave his lecture early this year. recipient of the 2015 Trailblazer Award in Lectureship is Gilbert A. Lavelle, small world. This award will be presented at the 2015 AND Food Nutrition Conference and Expo in October when Gil presents his lecture. also like to recognize our board member Paul Singh, who is a recipient of the 2015 World Agriculture Prize. This award was presented by the Global Confederation of Higher Education Associations for Agricultural and Life Sciences. It is in recognition of Paul's remarkable contributions to food engineering, research, education, development, consulting, and technology transfer. Paul, where are you? Please stand up. Ladies and gentlemen, let's show our appreciation one more time for these extraordinary scientists, educators, and leaders who have received these awards. Now let's hear a few words from the Executive Vice President of IFT, Christy Tarantino, who will tell you more about how IFT is looking to the future. Thank you, Mary Ellen. As part of our 75th anniversary, IFT unveiled a new initiative, Future Food 2050, to create a broad dialogue on how science will deliver solutions needed to feed the world's 9 billion people in the year 2050. It's a multi-year program highlighting the people and the stories behind the effort to achieve a healthier, safer, and better nourished planet. We have released 75 interviews with the world's most impactful leaders in food and science. You can find them on our website at futurefood2050.com. Also, a documentary is in production and scheduled for release in early 2016. The working title of the film is Food Evolution. We hired director Scott Hamilton Kennedy to create it. His film, The Garden, was nominated for an Academy Award. You can see clips from the film here at IFT 15 at our general session, Future Food 2050, The Art of Producing a Science-Based Documentary. You can also learn about the making of the film and even ask Scott a question yourself. 
This session will be Tuesday at 10 a.m. in the S100 Ballroom in McCormick Place South. There are several themes of the film, including how to feed 9 billion people, sustainable solutions offered by food science, the anti-science climate in parts of the world, food processing in Africa, and the GMO debate, and much, much more. Some of the most compelling storylines and interesting narratives come from high-profile figures, well-known journalists, and philanthropists. They bring much-needed name recognition to the project. Their insights underscore that the Future Food 2050 message isn't just for food-related audiences. It's about real people and the issues that affect them every day. Scott's team is submitting Food Evolution to film festivals this fall, and we also plan to market it through other channels. And we hope to see both the documentary and website content as a valuable platform for our educational efforts after the film publicly debuts in early 2016. Food issues are hot in the news, films, books, and online. However, consumers in the media may not always understand the science of food and how food arrives at their kitchen table. By focusing our dialogue on science, we'll educate the public on the critical role food science and technology will play in solving our future global food challenges. Future Food 2050 is about optimism and hope while so many other food initiatives capitalize on negativity and fear. Our positive message, especially one that is based on science, inherently sets this program apart. Help spread the word about the contributions of food science to the global food supply by opting into futurefood2050.com website and take advantage of social media and share our videos, including IFT Food Facts, World Without Food Science, and Day in the Life. Reach out in your community, promote our education materials, or even volunteer at a food bank. We have made a significant investment of time and resources in Future Food 2050, the website and the documentary. We feel it is very important to invest in educational efforts that show the public what the profession has contributed historically and especially what it will contribute by 2050 based on the science of food. Thank you very much. Thank you, Christy. The IFT Student Association Excellence in Leadership Award recognizes two students, one undergraduate, one graduate, for their exemplary leadership in their execution of student activities at every level of IFT. Susan Hammonds is the graduate student recipient of the 2015 IFT Student Association Excellence in Leadership Award. Susan, known as Susie, is a PhD student at Purdue University. She has been involved in the IFTSA since 2007. She has held several officer of positions in her undergraduate student chapter, the Food Science Club at University of Nebraska-Lincoln, including undergraduate liaison, manager, and president. She began taking on IFTSA leadership roles in 2012, serving on the Competitions Task Force and as the Area Redistribution Task Force Co-Chair. She currently holds a position of Vice President of IFT Relations. She is organizing this year's Chapter Leaders Workshop at IFT 15 for all incoming collegiate chapter presidents. She also was trapped on a bus and just made it here a minute before we announced her award. So please can help us in recognizing Susie. Sarah Tenser is the undergraduate student recipient of the 2015 Student Association Excellence in Leadership Award. Sarah recently graduated from Oregon State University with a bachelor's degree in food science and technology, as well as a minor in chemistry. In her time at Oregon State, Sarah was an active member of the Food and Fermentation Science Club, serving as secretary during her senior year. She competed as part of the College Bowl team for two years. She was also a key member of product development teams, submitting entries to the IFTSA, Disney Product Development Competition, as well as developing solutions for developing countries. Please join us in recognizing Sarah.
congratulations again to both of our student award recipients. Last year, the Journal of Food Science Education launched Food Science in Action with a video competition. The goal of the program is to create food science resources for K-12 educators who teach science, technology, engineering, and math. Studies show that children who learn about STEM fields early in school tend to pursue professional careers in these areas. Food Science in Action is an effort to develop a rich video library about food science and technology. By engaging students visually, the video can be a great learning tool in today's classroom. We asked food science professionals, academics, and college students to demonstrate how food science and technology work. The theme of the videos was, how is it made, bringing food processing into the classroom. We received some great submissions, and after much deliberation, our panel of food science experts chose a winner. First prize is a free IFT membership and registration for IFT 16. In the educator category, the award goes to Clint Stevenson and Caitlin Alberts from North Carolina State University's Department of Food, Bioprocessing, and Nutrition Sciences. In the student category, the award goes to Ben Averill and Nick Wrights from the University of Illinois. IFT's foundation, Feeding Tomorrow, supports programs to attract and encourage the development of the next generation of food scientists. These programs include student scholarships, the Food for Thought Food Science STEM Initiative, the Developing Solutions for Developing Countries Product Development Competition, and the Summer Scholars Program. We're energizing the best and brightest food science students to harness their energy and passion to explore the limitless opportunities for food science to address global food challenges. Food science offers a variety of career opportunities, but many of the most promising students are not aware of these opportunities that exist within our field that impact food science, impact food science has on the global food system. That is why Feeding Tomorrow is working to show students how they can make a difference by becoming a food scientist. Would all of our summer scholars and students currently receiving scholarships from Feeding Tomorrow in the audience please stand? Many of the scholarships Feeding Tomorrow supports would not be possible without the Feeding Tomorrow IFTSA Fun Run and Walk. The 5K is Monday morning at 6.15 at Grant Park. This is the 15th annual run and this year's event has already raised more than $100,000 in sponsorships, surpassing last year's record. Thank you for the support. Let's give everyone who's running or walking a big round of applause. We are pleased to announce two new scholarships for food science and food technology undergraduate students. Kraft's Food Group will donate $100,000 to Feeding Tomorrow to endow two new annual scholarships. These educational scholarships also include a paid internship at a Kraft location and a trip to attend the IFT annual event. Applications will be available starting August 15th. We are thankful to all the folks at Kraft for the continued support of students in Feeding Tomorrow. Yes, no, it's, it's a big, big contribution. Now in its third year, LEAD360 is our global leadership development experience for emerging food science professionals. The goal of LEAD360 is to identify and invest in a group of talented young professionals who are passionate about the profession and offer leadership skill development needed to advance the profession. We believe it will take a collective effort to prepare this new generation of leaders to move forward, and we're delighted 
to have these 25 enthusiastic, bright participants on site with us here at the meeting. Would this year's class of 360 please stand and be recognized by the audience? I know they're, I know they're here. <laughs> It's important that we engage the next generation. There is no greater way to leave an indelible legacy on the future than by ensuring that we have a talented group of young professionals championing innovations in food science. To remain competitive in the global food marketplace, companies must attract the best minds to build a workforce of diverse, talented food scientists and technologists. We can all help by supporting the wonderful programs of IFT and Feeding Tomorrow. More importantly, I believe it is a responsibility and honor of those gathered in this room tonight, the best and brightest in our profession, to encourage and develop the next generation of food science champions. I hope you will join me in taking this opportunity tonight and throughout the entire meeting to talk with students and others interested in our profession. Encourage them to join IFT, become an active member like you are, and infuse their curiosity about the profession with your own passion and energy. Congratulations to all our award winners this evening. <laughs>